I'm Ainsley Hooper. I own Ainsley Hooper Consulting. Uh, I started that in 2019. I sort of started to see some gaps in the, in the market from what I was witnessing, as well as hearing other people's stories. So I decided that I wanted to use my degree to help businesses identify those gaps and improve how they can do things with people with disabilities. Finding out what people's ideas are about accessibility and inclusion and see whether it actually marries up with what it actually is. That's the way we need to prove the understanding. My name is Tegan. I study part-time at Deakin University in Warm Ponds. With my student association, I held various roles, but my most recent one was the accessibility and services role. That role exists on every campus, and the idea is that that role considers accessibility at every kind of point. I've written an accessibility guide for kind of clubs and societies to make their content more accessible. So things like adding alternative text for screen readers, adding captions to your videos, all those kinds of things that, you know, people don't think about but are very happy to do once you tell them how to do it. I've always kind of championed that and I think, you know, that means a lot to me that, you know, people see me as someone who has kind of been a leader and an advocate in that area. I would encourage community members to be more inclusive through listening to the voices of lived experience, making their voices heard in their own kind of stories um, is really important for me. My name's Jake Anson and I joined Junior Gamer as a participant, but last year I was volunteer. Here I felt better helping someone. Like if they have a tough day, I talk to them and they just feel good. It's like my identity here at Gamer. I like um, the people who work here, um, they feel like family. And same with the clients, they're like brothers and sisters to me. <laughs> I feel wrapped getting that volunteer award. It felt pretty cool <laughs> getting it. And I got the cool statue for it. <laughs> if there was a time machine or something like that, I'll go back to my younger self and be like, yo dude, this is what's gonna happen. I won't spoil it for him. I'll say, just be yourself and do your best. That's it. I'm Michael Chan, I'm 37 and I live in Grovedale. I normally work within the hospitality industry, working at major venues, and in addition I do some bit of um, acting in creative and performing arts. I feel so overwhelmed winning the Achievement Award, which well, actually makes me really feel very honoured and I'm so truly touched. Yeah, so the inclusion will be so truly important. Be able to listen to and then identify all those shortcomings which people with disabilities have been faced on within the, the Geelong community. You're encountering some, some more significant barriers. Just simply don't give up. Just try to continue to work hard on what we've been doing. Build upon your strengths and your capabilities and you know, just simply go for it.